ever study something one day and completely forget it the next, it's not just you. It's called the forgetting curve, and it was discovered over 100 years ago. In 1885, German psychologist Hermann Ebbinghaus ran a groundbreaking experiment on himself. He created hundreds of nonsense syllables like Bock or Zat, memorized them, and tracked how long he could remember them over time. What he discovered was shocking. Memory doesn't fade slowly. It drops off fast. Within one day, he forgot about 50% of what he learned. After a week, he remembered less than 20%. This pattern became known as the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve, and it still holds true today. But here's the good news. He also discovered how to fight it. The key? Spaced repetition. If you review material at specific intervals, just before you're about to forget it, you strengthen the memory each time. That's why tools like flashcards, review apps, and smart schedules work so well. The first review might take effort, the second is easier. By the third or fourth, the memory sticks. So if you want to actually remember what you study, don't cram once. Review strategically. Your brain forgets fast, but it also learns fast if you know how to train it. Follow for more psychology-backed tips on memory, learning, and mastering your mind.